Hey guys, it's me again, and I'm back, finally, after two weeks of not being in action. Um, there are a couple of reasons for that. A, I was out on vacation for a little while, and I had a lot of drinking to do with my friends, and now I'm back. And not only that, uh, there was something else that came up uh, in the last week. Uh, somebody had flagged one of my videos, the cornflakes video, and they said that it is uh, it was violating the community guidelines for YouTube. Um, so I'm currently in the process of fighting that, and I don't know what's going to happen. It's put my channel in bad standing. Um, I have a strike against my account, and uh, and I believe if there are a couple more strikes that happen, they could take down my channel completely. So if that does happen that would definitely suck i don't know what i would do at that point um so if anybody has any uh tips tricks comments on how to uh appeal this process please let me know in the comments um aside from that i am back and ready to do a scalp video um i'm gonna go ahead and just use various tools my fingers uh the combs and we're gonna go ahead and just scratch my scalp um my legs are almost ready for another harvesting so we'll go ahead and uh, and get that uh, sometime this week and get you another uh scraping or peeling video i don't know i haven't decided yet it's looking pretty good so we'll see see what uh what would be the best video to use uh or the best tool to use uh, on the legs this time around enjoy oh and uh don't forget to like or subscribe that would be fantastic thank you so much much appreciated all right guys i'm gonna try to get as closely as i can to the camera and give myself enough space to scratch without screwing things up so let's just use these scissors here because i just freshly shaved the sides of my head the sides in the back and we can just see the flakes flying off. Now, I know you guys have suggested a lice comb. I've been very lazy lately, and I've not been, uh, been able to go and purchase one yet. I'm either going to have to order one, or if somebody wants to send me one, I'd be glad to use it. Now, my scalp looks particularly bad right now, probably because of my uh, binging and enjoying myself over these past couple of weeks. And you know what? I'm not embarrassed to show this off at all in public. If somebody's got something to say, they can just go out and say it or keep it to themselves. Not, no skin off my head. All right, that was the scissors. Now, how about I just start scratching? Scratch, 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 scratch. Doesn't look like it's doing much. We 
people always ask, does this feel good? Yeah, it feels good to a point. Um, it's not always, you know, amazing to itch like it is sometimes on my other parts of my body. Um, you know, it feels, feels good. But it also gets pretty sore pretty quickly. All right, let's try something else here. Now, as you see, the the sides in the back, you know, they're they're pretty bad. Um, now, there's not much I can do about these little parts in here because the scalp is much more sensitive than my uh, my legs and uh, you know other parts of my body. So if I scratch this any harder I'm probably gonna start bleeding a lot and I don't want a bunch of scabs on my head even if they only last a couple of days uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually probably gonna just soak it and scrub it down uh, in the shower uh, I, I'd like to film that but probably can't um, not much I can do about that um, let's do the top now huh it doesn't look like I have too much on the top of my scalp, but we'll see what we can do about that. See, it's really easy for me to hit the, uh, the camera, because I'm really close to it right now. Somebody always says, okay, do circles. Okay, here are the circles. And what sucks about the circles is it kind of starts tangling my hair up a little bit. I'm going to go side to side here. Now, a lot of people want to see the inside of my scalp, or the scalp that's deeper in my head, on my head. Let's take a look at that. There's not as much as there is up front. Uh, as far as I know, psoriasis typically happens on the edge of the scalp, uh, mostly. And, uh, and, yeah, there's not much on the inside, there's not much on the top sides mostly up front in this area. All right, let's switch tools up. And you know what? I, as, uh, as bad as it sounds, I don't have, I don't have a little <coughs> tiny comb, plastic comb even. It's been so long since I've actually used it. I just use my wife's brushes whenever I need to comb my hair or do something. Yeah, I don't think I can get all of this stuff either, guys. This needs to be taken care of after a nice uh, shower. All right, folks, that's all I have for you today. As you can see, I've got dandruff all over my shoulders. It's all over my face, on my glasses, in my hair. Um, most of it fell out. Um, 
my emo hair right now. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, that's that's all I'm going to do for now. Um, thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys next time with the leg scraping, peeling, whatever combination video I have for you next. See you later.